appreciate the time and the opportunity to speak. Your fears. What are your fears? Do you have fear in your personal life? Is there fear in your business life? Is there something holding you back because of your fear? How do you overcome your fears? Do they paralyze you to inaction? And today the theme of this show, invest in yourself and conquer your fears, is very relevant. It's relevant to everyone. Think of the fears that you have in your life. What are some of those fears? Fear of being liked. You know, when I come here, I have a fear. I do. I call it a healthy anxiety. Whenever I speak in public, I have a healthy anxiety of getting in front of up with everyone and making sense and hoping that people like me. People want to be liked. I think everyone has that fear of being liked. Fear of flying. People have a fear of flying. It immobilizes them where they can't go anywhere. They'll take a bus. They'll take a train. They'll take a car. Fear of success. Do you have a fear of success? Do you have a fear of success? Not knowing what your life could look like if you were to succeed. So you're happy where you are right now. Or is it a fear of failure? Not willing to try because you're afraid you'll fail. Do you have fear of commitment in your relationships? Is that fear powerful enough that it stops you from reaching out and meeting new people? Do you have fear of meeting new people? Because the fact is, when we were younger, remember we'd go up to someone and, hi, and your mom would say, no, I don't want you to talk to strangers. Is that fear rooted in when we were younger? Because a lot of the fear that we have is not based in the present. It's not based in the present. Fear is based in the future. What could happen? Fear is not in our past. Everything we have learned is in our past. But we can use that information to overcome our fear of the future because our fear is based in the future. It's the fear of what could happen, the fear of what may happen. I was fortunate to run a meeting this past week and I had a speaker present, Dr. Peter Vajda, and he talked about fear. He talked about how it can be debilitating for some people, how it will stop them from taking the necessary steps to achieve success. And one of the questions that he asked was, you know, one of the things you have to ask yourself when you have this fear is what will happen if I take action? What will happen if I take action? Another question to ask is what won't happen? if I take action. You have to think about those things. What will happen if I don't take action? You have to analyze this. You have to see why, what is stopping you from moving forward. Because if you can't move forward and get past your fears, you are stuck doing the same things you have always done. And what won't happen if I don't take action? What won't happen if I don't take action? And I thought his message is a lot what we go through. We have to self-analyze to get over those fears, to get over those humps, because the fears are what keep us paralyzed. A lot of people, what is the saying? Paraly paralysis by analysis. And a lot of people are like that looking in their heads, all right, I gotta do this, I have to have this in order, I have to have this in order, I have to have this in order. And then meanwhile, someone who started here is just zoomed right past by you. Zoomed right past by you. It's no fear. I'm just gonna do it. Sometimes you have to open the door and walk through to get past your fear. You don't wanna be paralyzed by fear. But what was great about that meeting is I wanted to continue the conversation. I wanted to have members participate and let us know, you know, what are some of your fears? Because we all have the same type of fear. A gentleman got up at the meeting and said, you know, one of my fears was moving. 
it was a fear for me. I was born in, the, in, a, in, a, in a place. I grew up in this place. I worked in this place. All my friends were in this place. My family was in this place. And my wife wanted me to move. That is fearful. I had that same fear eight years ago moving here. I grew up in New York. I've traveled, but I never moved somewhere else. And I think the fear is, I know what my look, life looks like now, but what is it going to look like so they are, aren't based in the present, they're based in the future of what could be. Someone else talked about the fear of being in the classroom and afraid to ask a question because they didn't want to sound dumb. I think we've all had that fear. I think as, as adults we have that fear. We don't want to ask that question. And his realization one day, when he asked, he finally had to ask the question. And he realized 80% of the class didn't know the answer. And from that point on, it changed his perception. Wow, it just wasn't me. It was everybody. You know, speaking in front of an audience is, uh, has a lot of fear associated with it. Again, I do get a healthy dose of anxiety, but some people are paralyzed by it. You really have to practice. You have to try. You have to break out of your comfort zone to be able to succeed. Because if you don't, you stay in the same exact place in life. Someone else came up and talked about they had a fear of giving a proposal. Giving a proposal. A businessman had a fear of giving a proposal. I think people in business have that fear. If you don't have a product that costs, say, $30, and maybe there's a little wiggle room, you know, you're stuck on that price. But when you're selling yourself, and that is a fear. And believe it or not, I have value. You have value. You have value. You all have value. There's a dollar figure to that value. And don't lower your dollar figure. Don't lower it. Why? Because you're valuable. I learned that years ago because I struggled with that as a contractor. I would give a price for doing work. I would look at it. I would analyze it. I would overanalyze it. I would say, wow, someone would actually pay $58,000 to do this? Well, maybe let me make it a little cheaper because I want to do that. And then I look at it again, and I'd overanalyze it again. Oh, but I really need this job. And there was a mentor who owned a paint store. His name was Cliff. I went in, I talked to him about this, the struggle that I have with giving pricing. And he's the one who taught me, he goes, you're valuable. You need to know your value, and you do not cheapen your value. That's your price. If you don't get it, they just don't get it, and you move on. And that's what I learned from Cliff. We all have value, and we all have fear, and getting over those fears are what are gonna lead us to success. And with fear comes failure, and failure's okay. You know, as Napoleon Hill said, every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent success. And you have to mine that seed. You have to look at that seed. You have to nurture that seed. You have to watch it grow. Because it's there. You have to take that failure and look at it and say to yourself, okay, how do I overcome that failure? How do I succeed? How do I move forward? Because we all can do it. We all can. It's all in here. Remember, fear is based on the future of what could possibly be, what could maybe happen. It's not based in reality. We don't know what's going to happen, but we put these things in our head that stop us dead in our tracks. We put up our own obstacles that don't allow us to move forward. Break down those walls. Break down those barriers. Look what's inside yourself. Look what's in the recesses of your mind and you can break down those walls. You can get through those barriers and you can succeed and achieve success that you didn't know was capable. I know I've done that. 
And I still deal with fear. And we all do. And you have to rationalize it. You have to say to yourself, okay, as Dr. Peter Vajda said, what will happen if I take action? What will happen if I don't take action? And that's, a pop, uh, that's important because your success is dependent on overcoming your fears. Are your successes based on, is your, are your, is your fear based on reality? Or is, is it the perception of an unknown quantity? And that is what our fear usually is. Napoleon said it well, he who fears being conquered is sure of defeat. And if you have fear in your life and you put up these obstacles and you tell yourself you can't do it, guess what? You're probably going to be correct 100% of the time. But if you look at both sides of an issue, if you look at the reality of what's happening in your life, and you come up with reasons why you can do it, you're going to overcome your fear, you're going to achieve success, and you're going to go places you never thought you could go. Thank you very much for your time today.